Hello friends and welcome to the Jigyasa series of videos intended to provide you with complete holistic knowledge on various social, economic, political as well as environmental issues happening across the globe. And in today's session we are going to talk something about the novel strain of coronavirus which struck Wuhan city in China on December 31st, 2019. It was subsequently declared as a global health emergency by the apex health body of the world, the World Health Organization. And till date it has caused more than 2,000 casualties besides affecting 70,000 people in China alone. More than two dozen countries have come into its fold including India. The last one decade or so has seen the rise of maximum illnesses across the world. For example, the swine flu virus, which is struck and caused maximum casualties in 2009. It was followed by the Ebola virus, which struck West Africa in 2013-14. Subsequently, the Zika virus struck Latin America in 2016. And most recently, the Nipah virus struck by Kerala in 2019. The rise of so many illnesses has again given a rise to a debate as to whether human interventions in nature is causing the rise of so many diseases. In today's session, we are going to talk something about the novel strain of coronavirus which has struck China recently and we are also going to focus upon the progress in its treatment and as to how can the individuals save themselves from this strain of virus. As per the official estimates, the novel or the new version of coronavirus struck Wuhan in China on December 31st, 2019. It quickly spread to other parts of mainland China and till Feb 2020 had struck more than three dozen countries affecting near to about 80,000 people with casualties mounting to more than 2,500. The first person to warn about this new disease was Li Wenliang, an ophthalmologist at the Wuhan Central Hospital. But he was apprehended for doing so and later he died after contracting the disease. The rise of this novel version of coronavirus has reiterated the fact that there has been a drastic rise in various virus-linked illnesses in the last two decades, with the first such big illness being the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or the SARS in China 2003, followed by the Swine Flu Pandemic of 2009, followed by the MERS or the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome of 2012, and in the recent years, the coming up of Ebola virus in West Africa in 2014, the coming up of the Zika virus in Latin America in 2016 and the striking of the Nipah virus in India in 2018. All these illnesses have a common point and that is virus is the root cause of all these diseases. Let's see what a virus is. A virus is an acellular infectious agent. That is, it doesn't have a cell like a normal living organism. A cell is a basic unit of all the living organisms on this planet. And virus being acellular, it can grow and divide only inside a living organism. Being acellular also means that it behaves like a non-living entity outside. It can even be crystallized. It can live for millions of years. All the recent deadly infections have been linked to viruses, including the HIV, Ebola, swine flu, and the recent coronavirus. Being acellular also means it becomes very difficult to treat a viral illness. Amongst the viruses, the coronaviruses are a large family of viruses causing illnesses varying from common cold to more severe, such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or Severe Acute respiratory syndrome. A novel coronavirus means a new strain of coronavirus that has not been identified yet in the humans.
द नोवेल वर्जन ऑफ कोरोना वायरस विच स्ट्रक वुहान रिसेंटली आर जूनोटिक मीनिंग दे आर ट्रांसमिटेड बिटवीन एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली इट वॉज फाउंड दैट ह्यूमन टू ह्यूमन स्प्रेड इज ऑल्सो अकरिंग इन दिस नोवेल वर्जन ऑफ कोरोना वायरस द कॉमन साइंस ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इंक्लूड अ वेरी माइल्ड फीवर कफ विच इंक्रीजेज विद द इलनेस shortness of breath and difficulties in respiratory system in severe cases it may lead to pneumonia and severe acute respiratory syndrome eventually leading to death due to multi organ failure the incubation period of this illness that is the time between contracting the virus and showing of the symptoms varies from 2 to 10 days in the novel coronavirus which has struck china recently The present outbreak has been named as COVID coronavirus disease dash nineteen, and the virus closely resembles the SARS virus which had struck China in two thousand three. The virus is also being known by other names such as two thousand nineteen dash novel coronavirus or Wuhan pneumonia virus. As per the recent reports of World Health Organization. Nearly eighty thousand people in thirty-seven countries across the globe have been infected, and at least two thousand six hundred have died. With the epicenter being in the mainland China, new cases have cropped up recently in Oman, Iran, and Italy after the initial spread in Japan and South Korea from China. The fast spread of this virus. has prompted the who or the world health organization to declare it as a public health emergency of international concern which signifies an extraordinary event which can constitute a public health risk through the international spread of the disease it is yet to be declared a global pandemic that is a disease spreading uncontained across a large region or worldwide The most famous global pandemic still date have been the 1918 Spanish influenza which infected more than 500 million people worldwide with the estimated death toll coming up to 40 to 50 million people in short 27% of the world's population was infected by Spanish influenza virus and more recently in 2009 the h1n1 or the swine flu influenza virus infected approximately 1 billion people in the world that was 1/5 of the global population with approximately 2 lakh to 5 lakh people dying because of the disease the novel version of coronavirus is yet to be declared a pandemic because it is not spreading uncontained the cases have come up across 37 countries but it is still contained and this is the reason why world health organization is following a wait and watch policy as far as treatment and cure is concerned there is no specific medicine or treatment for this version of coronavirus supportive therapies like maintaining a fluid balance and proper care for the patients is of considerable help as far as the vaccine development is concerned it is yet at a very early stage and is expected to come out only after a couple of months yet recently as per our official statement of world health organization in wuhan china a drug called as remdesivir of american biotech firm called as gilead sciences might help in treating the deadly coronavirus in short we can say there is still not a specific accurate treatment in the field for novel coronavirus in such a case prevention gathers importance as the disease spreads by droplet infection world health organization has prescribed a list of precautions to be focused upon some of these precautions are the first one avoiding travel to china and the southeast asian countries second cleaning of hands frequently with alcohol based hand rub or frequently by soap and water apart from this wearing of proper masks in public places and covering nose and mouth while sneezing or coughing and lastly avoiding close contacts with someone having flu like symptoms in short we can say prevention 
is better than cure for novel coronavirus. And as far as prevention is concerned, strengthening of immune system is also of considerable importance. And for strengthening of immune system, the ancient therapies of yoga and Ayurveda have mentioned numerous methods for the same. We would be focusing upon these methods in the coming session.